Hi everyone, my name is Pratima Naik. I am a teacher like you. I am also very excited about the implementation of National Policy of Education 2020. It aims at meeting all challenges of 21st century by implementing new education system. So it advocates more use of technology and integration of technology in planning, management, content development as well as assessments for both online and digital teaching and learning. So section 23 and 24 gives details about and recommendations how it will be implemented in whole educational policy process. So we will discuss some points on some recommendation of it. Please come. So use of technology will be for education planning, teaching, learning and assessment, administration as well as management, regulation through public disclosures and most importantly digital India campaign. How it will be done? There will be a forum at national level, National Educational Technology Forum, in short NETF, which will be responsible or which will create all environment. The functions of the forum will be improve classroom process, support teachers professional development, enhance educational access for disadvantaged groups, educational planning, administration and management. NETF will integrate new technologies such as artificial intelligence, computing devices, blockchain, adaptive computer testing, machine learning, smart boards and many software as well as hardware. It will focus on first is massive open education platforms, Dibyang friend, friendly educational software, e-content in various languages, all regional languages, if possible, virtual lab, online assessment and examinations, 21st century challenges. So what are the recommendation of National Education Policy 2020 for Integration of Technology. Number one, A, Pilot Studies for Online Education. Agencies such as NETF, IITs, NITs, IGNO will be identified and they conduct a series of pilot studies in parallel they will evaluate the benefits of integration of this technology. They will publicly communicate this result of the research work. Point two, digital infrastructure. There is need of open, interoperable and evaluable public digital in infrastructure in education sectors. It can be used, which can be used in multiple platforms to solve India's diversities. Next C, online teaching platform and tools. There are some existing learning platform in India, Shoyam, NROER, Diksha, CIT, but still this existing learning platform such as Soyam Diksha will be extended to provide both teachers and students different learning tools and contents. D. Content creation, digital repository and dissemination. Apps such as gamification of Indian art and culture in multiple languages will be created. There will be development of, of many gamification 
app for students where they can learn with fun. E. Addressing the digital divide where digital access is limited, they are excessive use of TV and radio will be used. That will be excessive use of these existing TV and radio. Virtual lab. Existing Swayam Prabha Diksha provides virtual labs, but they will be there will be more resource for the students for hand-on based learning experience. So training and incentive for teachers. Teachers will go rigorous training and also they will get incentives. Online assessment and examinations. There are some boards, Parak and NAT. They implement assessment, but they are they will be expanded to assess with standardized test and standardized rubrics. Blended models of learning, effective models of blended learning will be identified and used. And last is laying down the standards, National Education Technology Forum and higher education institutions will set up standards of contents, technology, pedagogy for digital and online teaching and learning so that it can meet the targets. Let us hope for a better future with a better education system with technology. Jai Hind!